Hi, this is Kathy here. Um, my name is Kira Jen Love, and I am here to teach you about how to use Windows Movie Maker. Today we're just going to make a simple little video. Uh, we're just going to use various kinds of pictures and a couple in a little audio to kind of throw some things together, just to give you a basic idea of how to use it. And nothing, I'm not making anything special here. So, um, anyway, uh, since I'm a Dark Crystal fan, we'll just start with some Dark Crystal pictures, and I'll just throw in some. Uh, some music, random music. Anyway, was looking right now at the first screen you're going to see when you come on Wendy's Mo Windows Movie Maker. The pictures you see is my collection of imported pictures that I've had for various projects. So let's take a look and see what the first thing we need to do is we need to click on Import Pictures. So go ahead and click on Import Pictures and it's going to bring up Import File window right there. And you want to go in and you want to look for the picture that you want to bring in to your project. That you want to put a picture that you want to put in your in your project. So click on your picture from your uh, files there and it will automatically double click it and it will import into the collections. Right in there. Then you want to drag the picture from the collections down to the video bar below. And just keep doing that with all the pictures you want to put in this video. Just import them then drag them down until you have a whole bunch of pictures there that you want for your video. Now the next step, we need to get some audio. So you're going to click on Import Audio or Music. And this Import File box will come up. You look for the music that you want under wherever you keep it on your hard drive. You look for it, you double click it. When you find it, when you finally find the, the music you want, you double click it and it will show up in your collections. And it will show up as a little musical note. That's your audio file. You want to drag that down to the uh, audio bar on down below and it will come up as a white box. Now when you see it there, it's kind of out of alignment so you got to drag it to the left. Click and drag it to the left. You'll see a blue bar. It'll take that blue bar all the way to the left and then let go. And voila! It makes itself flush with the left side. Now, the next step, we need to take that right end of the video or the audio and click on it and drag it. It'll make a little red arrow. You'll see it. Drag it to the end of the video, and that will make it flush with the video. That way, your audio is the same length as your video. <clears throat> now, the next step, we want to click on Make Titles and Credits. So I'm going to click on Add Title at Beginning of Movie. So click on that. And then it'll have a place to write your text in. So the top box, you want to put the main stuff, the big stuff, and the bottom box is for subtext, anything a little additional you want to add. So click, type in what you want in both. You don't have, you don't have to do the bottom box if you don't want to, but you can if you want. So write that in and you can see on the left there in the screen you'll see what, what you're doing there. And it will show up there. And then you click done and it will show up down below in the bar on the left. You can see the little blue box there. That's your title screen. Now we can add some more stuff. So let us go to uh, and we're gonna have to go and add, we're gonna go ahead and add a uh, transitional effect. Or, uh, no, a title overlay. So, see that little blue line, that vertical blue line with the box on top? You want to put that right where you want to have your title overlay. And then you also want to, you want to click on the box that you want the title overlay to be on, actually. So, click on the box, highlight the box, and then uh, you say you want, on the previous screen, you want to say you want to have uh, the title on that selected box. Then you go ahead and type in your, ti your text, and it will show it down below where it says um, title overlay. There will be a little bitty box down there. So next you want to um, click another thing. You want to put on, let's see, let's put on a, a, a credit. So we'll click on add credits at end of movie. And click on that and it will bring up a credits screen. And you want to write down uh, the column on the left is for listing things. The column on the right is for categories. So as you can see here, just follow the pattern there that I put. And then when you're done, click done. And then your credit credits will show up at the end of the video. And there we 
go, and there's your credits at the end. Now, the next, another thing we can do, we can also look at some video effects. And this is kind of fun. This is totally optional. You don't have to do this, but if you click on new view video effects, you'll see all these different crazy looking effects. And you can pick any one of those and drag it down to any picture that you want to have an effect on, or between the pictures. And, um, and it will create that effect when, when it goes to the next pi picture. So you drag it to where you want, put that little, uh, that blue line, that vertical blue line where you want it to go, and then you drag it down. You can also go to view video transitions. And these are video transitions you put between the pictures. It, you can put them in between any picture you want, and you drag it down there, and it will make that that transition between those two pictures. And see that tiny little black or white box down there where it says transition on the transition bar? That's where your transition is going to be. Now, our next step will be to right click on all of your pictures. You don't have to do this, but it makes the best effect if you do it. You want to right click on it and then you want to select fade in and fade out. Do that to all of your pictures and do it to your video, your audio too. <coughs> You don't have to do that. If you want your pictures to move suddenly from one picture to the other, you don't click it. But if you want to have a nice, nice looking transition, it, it, it helps if you do that. So make that with all of your pictures, and then go back. And after you've done all, done, right clicked on all your pictures and chosen the, that, those two options, then you go down to your audio, and you do the same thing. Fade in, fade out. Also do the same thing for your title overlay and any uh, well, the transitions will probably be okay by themselves but just uh, pretty much anything that gives you the option to fade in fade out you should do it okay. okay then you wanna go to save to my computer and it'll bring up this box and you want to go up there and where it says blue you just erase that and put in the title that you want for your video then you wanna press next Okay, and then it will ask you what quality you want, just put best quality, and then you click next, and then it will start to save your video. And when it's finished, then you just click finish, and then you're done. But not quite, because you have to go up into the right, the little red X in the right upper right corner of your project, and it'll cl to close it out, it'll prompt you to say, do you want to save this? Click yes. Make sure you do that. Click yes, and then the save box will come up, save as box. Make sure that you save it as a WMV file. Do not save it as a Windows Movie Maker file, WMMV, because YouTube will not accept a Windows Movie Maker file. You have to save it as a WMV. So do it as it shows in the picture there. And, um, and then you saved it, and then you're done and then you are ready to upload your video.